Hi, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com. Today I'd like to talk about why you would want to add tallow to soap. If you've been on my channel before, you'll know that I am a huge fan of grass-fed tallow. It has so many amazing benefits and it's wonderful to use to make so many different things, whether that's things to eat or things to use on your skin or to use around your house or homestead. But today I'd like to talk about why you would want to use tallow specifically in soap making. What are the benefits there and what makes it so good to use when you make soap? The first reason that comes up is that tallow is pretty inexpensive compared to a lot of other oils that you could use to make soap. The properties of tallow when it's used in a soap bar are very similar to palm oil and palm oil can be a little more expensive to buy. It's also not always the most sustainable ingredient because of the way it's harvested and the places it's harvested from. Tallow on the other hand is from beef fat, it's basically rendered beef fat, and it's readily available all the time. There's always beef being processed and fat is a byproduct of that. That makes it very readily available and pretty inexpensive and also very sustainable since it's always being produced. Of course, there are different qualities of tallow that you can get, but even if you were to source the highest quality organically raised 100% grass-fed beef fat and render it into tallow, you're still gonna find that it is a pretty affordable choice as far as a soap making ingredient. Another great reason to use tallow in soap making is that it makes the soap bars nice and hard. If you've ever made soap before using only plant-based oils like coconut oil, olive oil, things like that, you'll know that if you leave your bar of soap in the shower, it can melt away very easily and quickly. Tallow soap is not like that. It stays nice and hard and it won't melt away. So you get nice long lasting bars of soap that are nice and hard. If you wanna get a little bit technical, the palmitic and stearic acid are actually the parts of tallow that help make those soap bars nice and hard. And if you're familiar with soap making very much, you'll know that palmitic acid and stearic acid are additives that you can buy to add to your soap making if you want to add those properties of hardness to your bars. But if you're using something like tallow, that's naturally built in to one of your ingredients. So it's a great way to get those nice properties just with your ingredient that you're already using. As far as cleansing properties, tallow is gently cleansing. It is cleansing, but it's gentle. If you're familiar with coconut oil and soap, that is very cleansing. It can also be a little bit on the harsh side. For example, if you were to make soap with only coconut oil, that's very cleansing and it might be a bit much to use on your skin. But tallow is gently cleansing, so it's wonderful for using on skin. Tallow soap produces a nice, rich, creamy lather, which is really nice. It's great on its own as a pure tallow soap recipe where you use only tallow and no other oils in the soap bar, then it's really rich and creamy. It's really moisturizing and nice for skin. It's wonderful for anybody who has eczema or other skin conditions. If you use tallow in combination with other oils, like coconut oil, for example, that tends to produce lots of high volume suds, then you get some really nice properties to your soap bar because you get the creaminess and lots of suds. So it just it's great to add for that reason too. So when you make soap with a super fat amount. That just means that a certain amount of the oils are going to be left unconverted into lye. The lye is not going to convert every single bit of the oils into soap, but there's gonna be some moisturizing properties left. And you can make soap at different amounts of super fat. I like soap for your skin to be at like 8%, which is a sort of a higher level and it leaves it nice and moisturizing. My shampoo bar recipe I have at 5%. You can also make soap for laundry where you don't want any oil left over and you can have that to leave no super fat amount. But when you're making soap for your skin, you will have that amount of moisturizing oils left over after you have washed your skin with the soap. Grass-fed tallow is amazing for using in soap because you get the benefits of the tallow left on your skin. Tallow has wonderful benefits for skin. It has so many amazing nutrients. It basically provides everything that skin needs to rebuild and repair itself. It's very healing and soothing and full of 
Skin's basic building blocks and like I said, all the nutrients that skin needs. You don't find this rich combination and all of those nutrients in one place in any other plant-based oil. You only find that in animal products and especially in grass-fed tallow. And it's wonderful for using on hair also in something like a tallow shampoo bar. When you use tallow for soap making, it's really easy to work with. The mixture tends to come to trace pretty quickly. And the mixture sets up quickly too, which means the time from when you pour the soap into your molds from when you need to slice it into bars is pretty short and quick, so that's nice too. Because it sets up quickly and has such a good texture, soap with tallow in it is great for doing more creative types of soap making, like piping. It also takes color really well if you want to color your bars of soap, and it works well for different decorating techniques since it has that nice harder consistency and hardens quickly. If you're worried about tallow smelling in finished bars of soap, you don't have anything to worry about. If you do make a pure tallow soap that is made with 100% tallow and no other oils, when you smell the finished product, you might be able to smell a tiny, tiny little bit of a tallow-ish smell if you don't use essential oils or anything to scent it. But I mean, that's pretty much to be expected, right? If you don't want any tallow smell, it's really easy. If you use a blend of different oils, like coconut oil and olive oil, you're not gonna really gonna be able to smell tallow, and that's in an unscented soap bar. If you want to make it smell nice with essential oils, then it'll smell like those essential oils. There will be no tallow smell coming through. So you don't have to worry about tallow making your soap smell like tallow. So there you have it. Those are the many different reasons of why you would want to use tallow when you make soap. Hope that you found that interesting and helpful. I have lots of different soap making videos that I will link in the description box below. I go over soap making basics. I have several different soap recipes that all include tallow. I have a tallow shampoo bar recipe and I will link all of those below. I also have lots of other videos on tallow, how to render tallow, how to make it white and odorless for skincare and soap making. Make sure to leave a comment below and tell me what are your favorite soap making ingredients and have you ever used tallow before and what did you think? I'm also going to have links below to my blog post that has even more information on soap making and tallow and lots of other DIY skincare products. I'm also going to have links below to different soap making equipment that I personally like to use as well as as well as a place to get tallow for soap making. I also have a shop where I offer the different tallow soaps that I make and there'll be a link to that below as well. And if you're new here, I wanted to mention that I also have a member exclusive password protected subscriber library where all of my free eBooks and printables and everything are all in one place. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link below where you can check out that subscriber library. Okay, if you like this video and found it interesting or helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think might be interested in knowing why you should add tallow to soap. Here on my channel, I show you how to make nourishing recipes for nutrient dense food, natural remedies, and DIY skincare and home products. So if those are something that you're interested in and you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two videos every week. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.